Welcome back. Today I show you the while loop in C++. I've already shown you how the for loop works and the while loop is just as good once you get the hang of it. I'll give you a small demonstration of how it works and what you can do with it. Uh, what you see on the screen right now is the basics of how I start the program. We have the int main. So the first thing we have to do is declare a few variables. I'll keep things simple by keeping an integer and we will declare count and i. You can name this anything you want. It can be sum, it can be a and b, it can be alpha, beta. These are just variables. They don't have to represent anything specific. I'm just using this for the program. Next thing we have to tell the program what count and i represents. Count is going to equal to 0, i is going to equal to 1. Again, you can name these numbers anytime you want, anything you want. It won't make a difference at the end. Now we start off the while loop. We'll do while is i less than 10. This is basically telling the program to run until i reaches 10. I, al I already equals to 1 right here. It'll go up to 10. I'll show you how that works as well. Open and close brackets. This is the same as the for loop. You have to put the brackets around what you want the program to loop. So it's pretty similar. Uh, next thing we do is count equals to count plus i. This is telling the program that count should be added to whatever the value of i is. i at first is 1. Next thing we're going to do i++. plus plus. i++ plus plus tells the program that every time the while loop runs, i goes up by 1. That's what i++ plus plus does. If you do i minus minus, the value will go down by 1. And it'll go up by 1 every time the program runs until it hits 10. That's where the while loop ends and the count will also go up every time so if the first value of count is one, 0 i is 1 this count will be 1 then this count goes from 0 to 1 and it'll be 1 plus 2 because i is increased by 1 count will be 3 and this will be 3 and then it'll be 3 plus 3 because i is increased by 1 again it'll be 3 plus 3 is 6 I'll show you that in an output in a second we just that's where the c out comes in we'll do count is ENDL. You go outside of this bracket and do a system pause. Pause. You don't want to do it before this bracket ends right here because it'll show please press any key to continue every time the program runs and that can get annoying. Once we have this, let's run it. We'll do debug. And it ran without a problem. As I was saying, the count is 1. Count is 3, 6, 10, and the ending number is 45. Once again, it increases based on what the value is here. If count is 3 and i is 3, count will be 6. Last answer is 45 here, so it should go along with that. It goes, it goes until 10 times. And as I mentioned before, the 10 here controls how many times the program runs. Let's say you want to start off with 5, 5 until 10. It'll display only 5 times, but it'll start off with 5. Here's 5, 11, 18, 26, 35. As you can see, the numbers are a little different because count is 0. So this will be 0 plus i is 5. That'll be 5. And that'll be 5 plus 6. Uh, it's pretty simple. The while loop is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. If you have any questions about this or if you have any requests, let me know. I'll get to them when I can. I hope you learned a little bit about the while loop. Even though this isn't everything about the while loop, this should help you get a basic understanding of how this works. Uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe.